Hi, I'm Tori Mallott with Editor TV. We're here at 41 Madison in New York City for Tabletop Market 2010. Let's go inside and see how to set a table. Do you believe in mixing and matching? Of course, I'm the original mix master. Formal with informal, uh, formal with formal, um, and you can really do pretty much anything these days and make it work. I'm a big mix and match believer. Um, I actually have some hand-me-down plates from my uh, parents' house in Southampton. Beautiful green porcelain plates. Um, then I have that mixed with some uh, white plates with black stenciling on it that are um, quite cool that I got at a vintage store in Texas. I never believe in sets. I always believe in entertaining using a collection of different things. We travel all over the world. We shop all the time. We buy, you know, sort of silver in Paris and porcelain in England and something from a flea market mixed with 18th century, you know, beautiful, amazing silver cups. And I think that's what makes a table individual and unique. I tend to sort of buy um, not an entire grouping in one pattern because then I like the idea of mixing different things together whether it's sort of pattern on pattern on pattern. It all depends on what kind of uh, dinner. Do you ever um, entertain with an entire suite of the same or do you always mix it up? I can't keep enough things unbroken to entertain with the suite and I'm constantly falling in love with something new so I need to have something that's always adaptable. We love the idea of layering them on top of each other and sort of mixing and matching and showing people sort of how not to be afraid. I also love these kind of funky different patterns. I have these um, ceramic plates that are made by two girls in Argentina and they're inexpensive and they're the most beautiful blue and then you mix them with or I do, I mix them with, I have Hermes China that I got in his wedding friends. What do you recommend, how can people in modern day sort of come into this really beautiful and exotic world? I think it's a question of mixing things. Basic, plain white or plain white and gold, and then spruce it up with some, some really stunning decorative pieces. I'm a mixer and matcher. I mean, we travel a lot for work and I travel a lot just because I love to travel. So I will pick up a plate in Prague. I'll pick one up if I'm in Tennessee. For me, it brings a sense of adventure. I don't do five piece plate settings. I see plates that I love and I buy them. Take a plate from Tim Devine's showroom, take it up to Genori, or take a Genori plate and bring it in here to Julia Watts because I need to know what it's going to look like together. What is really nice is just to mix and match different services and different styles and different patterns, and which is really much more fun and much more entertainment for, uh, for your table boys. Do you mix and match your china at home when you entertain? Definitely. I was at Royal Copenhagen, I've been up to Lennox, um, I've been up to Jalisco. You're seeing a lot of mixing solids with patterns and even different shapes, different sizes. Richard Genori had some really big oversized square plates which were wonderful. I thought, God, that's a lot of food. I really wanted to break that line between, you know, fine china and your everyday stuff, you know, that one thing. So you buy one set of china that you can mix and add to and put in fancy chargers and put in your fancy silver and it, you know, it will always work. We're just wrapping up Tabletop Spring 2010 at 41 Madison, where we've learned everything there is to learn about setting a table. This is Tori Malat with Editor TV. See you next time.